Hutton's out of here. Oh, maybe it's a Lincoln tent. It's a little thick for that. All right, yeah. you guys ready for the reveal? Mm -hmm. You got it on? That's not a button. Greetings and welcome to Drama in the Dirt. Thank you for being with us again. Uh, this week, Kale and I get out on 1830s, 1840s site, uh, a lot of nice uh, relics. And then also I'm going to update you on uh, uh, just a few things. And then uh, a final piece uh, will be a coin star find. I uh, scooped the change out. There was quite a bit of change. Threw it in my pocket. Uh, went home and later on I picked up the loop and started going through a, a few things and I could not believe what I saw and as you watch the uh, footage I'm sure you will uh, have some eye popping so thank you again and uh, as always uh, God bless you and may all your digs make you smile Okay, I've gridded off an area. Uh, I just eyeballed it. I'm doing the width of the treehouse, which is eight feet, and I'm coming out eight feet. I got four holes open with high tones, so I'll let you know what I find. Cool piece of iron. I'm not sure what it is. I like that. All right. This right there, that is the east side, or I mean the south side of the house. And then this would be the south yard. So out of this hole and this hole and this really deep hole, and I believe this hole here, I believe that was it, I got, look at this. I got a compact lid. You got this a huge spike, two of them. Flat iron sheet metal. Along with that, I assume that's top of a can or something. And your usual nail and a fence staple. And then look at this. Believe it or not, a flat button, cuff button. And that's all in the space of 15 or 20 minutes. And there's still sounds here. This one I gave up on because I kept pulling nail after nail. And the pinpointer kept, you know, obviously you can see it's... Uh, extremely deep <laughs> but I got that sheet metal out of there and then these nails so you know but see what you can do if you just concentrate on that one area it's so unbelievable so that'll go on my button board I'm tickled to get that I'd like to fill up a hundred of them thanks I don't even see a back mark. Yeah, I'd just a real thin button. Still they come. Mm-hmm. We've probably gotten, this probably makes almost 30 buttons we got probably. out of here. Mm -hmm. I dug a cuff button over there the other day. Mm-hmm. Good job. Oh, We're recording. Yeah, you know, we got a button with a vertical shank. We're gonna... Oh, here it is. Do a little rubbing on there. No, but you know you're not supposed to rub those. I like to clean them up nice myself. 
Yeah, I can't see anything right now. No. All right, I'm happy with that. Got another button, he said. And this was on top of it? Yeah. Let me compare it to the first one, because I think it's a match. Oh, look how far, that shank's way off, and way off center. Oh wait, no, it's a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's a little bit. And yeah, the shank's, it's bent, it's bent over. Yeah, yeah. but well, it's... you can't straighten those suckers, they break right off. Yeah. I said, I'm gonna try to straighten this when I knew better, and I busted one the other day. Well, that looks like a coin, doesn't it? It's so thick. Sure does. Does that match yours? Looks about the same. I think it does. Thing. Yeah, it's that first, matches that first one, probably. I like that. Mm -hmm. With a nice vertical shank. I, I gotta take some sometime, make a shirt with them, put them on my shirt. Oh, uh, bunch well, of paint them, paint them gold again. You're gonna have enough to make a shirt out. Oh of yeah, I got plenty. <laughs> yeah, this is the exact, exact one, button. but it's got a better back, so we'll be able to see what it says. I think it says London gilt. Yeah, London on it. See, the Brits made all our buttons up for us until we. Yep, that's exactly what it says. Got our buttons going. London gilt. Oh, it's beautiful. It is a nice one. Good job, Pete. Yeehaw. Mm -hmm. You want to see that? Look at the oh, wow. container on it. Oh man, that is a good one. You should show Caleb that gold button we got in the front yard. Is it handy? Yeah. It got me a hinge. There's a hole there, and then of course a hole on the end. Hole here. That'll display nicely. Mm -hmm. I'll put an iron garden. Yeah, I'd say that's some kind of sash buckle, some sort. Just a cast. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's got some reefing, reefy edge. Yeah, good job. Yes, another button. We'll get it cleaned up. All right. A little cuff, a little vertical shank. Mm -hmm. Oops. Mm -hmm. well, and that's how they're lost. Swept it right out of your hand. All right, Button City. Well, that's a weird one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Should be easy to identify if that's what it is. Well, well, I I would imagine that's what it is. I mean, it's got that look, but it's also kind of yeah. I never seen anything like it. It's got to be I'm obviously the strap hooks there. Yep. Well, yeah. One of a kind, maybe. Might maybe. be worth a fortune. Who knows? Yeah. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Hey, at least we to toss it out. I know. This is recording. Sega! Washington. Nice, Pete. What year? Wait a minute. What year is it? Acres. I've got a that's a newer silo in it yeah um, so I've got to go in this silo he had part of his chute fall off so I'm gonna to try to get in there and find it it's just a big iron piece so if it's not more than a couple feet deep I should be able to find it
would you have thought when you saw this? So you won't be sorry. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure you'll get a reaction at home as you watch the, uh, the video. So, uh, it, so I'm sure you'll get a reaction too uh, as I do the zoom on the uh, find. So as always, uh, 